Hi, everyone. I'm going to read you a story about a little girl named Alma and how she got her name. Alma Sofia Esperanza Jose Pura Candela had a long name. Too long if you asked her. See, it takes up the whole page and she had to add some paper to the bottom. <laughs> My name is so long, Daddy, it never fits, Alma said. Come here, he said. Let me tell you the story of your name, and then you decide if it fits. From the books on the shelf, it looks to me like Alma's family may be from Peru. Sophia was your grandmother, he began. She loved books and poetry and jasmine flowers, and of course, me. She was the one who taught me how to read. I love books and flowers, and you too, Daddy. I am Sophia. Esperanza was your great-grandmother, he continued. She hoped to travel, but never left the city where she was born. Her only son grew up to cross the seven seas. Wherever her sailor son went, so did Esperanza's heart. The world is so big, I wanna go see it, Daddy. You and me together. Looks like Alma's pinned up all the places all over the world she'd like to go. That's lots of traveling. Jose was my father, Alma's daddy said. He was an artist with a big family like many people had back then. Early each morning, he walked to the mountains and the plazas to paint everyday life. Sometimes I went along. Your grandfather taught me to see and love our people. I wake up early every day and I draw a lot too. This morning, I drew a kitty cat for you, Daddy. I am Jose. Pura was your great aunt. She believed that the spirits of our ancestors are always with us, watching over us. When you were born, she tied a red string around your wrist, a charm to keep you safe. Hello, Pura. It's me, Alma. Candela was your great, was your other grandmother. She always stood up for what was right. She looks a little bit like Alma, and she's wearing pants that are just like hers, but a different color. I wonder if the baby she's carrying is Alma's mommy. Could be. I am Candela. I love the story of my name. Now tell me about Alma, Daddy. Where does that come from? I picked the name Alma just for you. You are the first and only Alma. You will make your own story. Alma Sofia Esperanza Jose Pura Candela. That's my name and it fits me just right. I am Alma and I have a story to tell. Looks like Alma's going to write her story down. The end. Here's a note from the person that wrote this story. A note from Juana. My name is Juana Carlotta Martinez Pizarro. My father named me Juana after his mother, Juana Francisca. My mother chose the name Carla to honor the memory of her uncle, Carlos. 
My father was a man of decisions. So when it was time to register my birth, he changed Carla to Carlotta on the birth certificate. He was convinced that Juana Carlotta was a mighty name he wanted for his daughter. Thanks to that change, I got stuck with what I thought was the most old fashioned, harsh, ugly, and way too Spanish name in all of Lima, Peru, where I grew up. Little did I know that later on, after I moved to the United States, it would feel unique and remind me every day of where I come from. What is the story of your name? What story would you like to tell? The end. I like those questions at the end of this story and I loved this story. It was so much fun to hear about all the people in Alma's family that her daddy chose to name her after. In some traditions, families give children lots of names, like in Alma's family. Some other families only give their children one name or two names. Anyhow, I love to listen to the story of somebody's name. I have to find out the story of my name, if there is one. I hope you enjoyed this one. Have a great rest of the day. I'll be back to read to you soon.